everyone and welcome to another craft stash three minute card making hack now today i'm going to be focusing on outline dies now many stamp and die sets come with outline dies and we can make some really cool shaker cards with these have you ever tried it before just because it doesn't have the detail it doesn't mean that it's not a really usable shape because we're going to include the stamp or the detail die as well so first with this paisley die i'm going to pop it into my front piece of cardstock or paper you want to tack this down with a low tack tape and i like to use the creative craft products low tack tape it's absolutely perfect for holding dies still on pattern paper because it doesn't tear the paper as it lifts off so now I've removed my shape and I can keep this aside for another project but on my white cardstock I'm going to place my layer now this was already cut to size but I'm just going to take a pencil and I'm going to draw through roughly where that shape is so that I can then do my stamping as accurately as possible. Now with my card base in the stamping platform I can take the chosen stamp here and I can stamp that inside those pencil lines. Now my outline will fit perfectly over my stamped image and I can create a shaker from this. So I'm going to put my acetate over the back. This is going to be attached with some red liner tape. And then with some foam tape, go all the way around the edge. This doesn't have to be the perfect shape. You can do this quite roughly. Just ensure there's no gaps at all around the foam edge. Place your chosen shaker elements. In this case, I'm using sequins just inside the shape there. And you can lay your die cut directly over the top. Give it a shake and you've now got a shaker that is shaped any shape you have an outline die for. Now let's try that with something that's not a coordinating stamp and die, but instead a die with the outline. So this time I'm using a peacock shape, but the outline alone doesn't really look like a peacock. So I am going to incorporate the die that comes inside as well. So now I've got my shape again, I need to add some acetate to the reverse of it. And again, I'm going to apply foam around the edge. This time I'm going to put my die cut sheet down before I add the detail. So I'm going to be putting my shakers directly onto my card base there. Then placing the shaker panel over the top and make sure that everything can move around freely inside. Then I'm going to put my detail over the top of the acetate instead. There's a number of different ways you can do this depending on the material that you are adhering down, but my favorite is a spray adhesive. And there's another way of doing a shaped shaker card. So we've got the stamp and die combo. We've got the die and die combo, but you can also use either of these shapes without even using the detail. So as I have here with the B-shaped die, I've simply used the outline die on its own from a set and just put the shakers inside so you can really clearly see them. So have a look in your stash and see which dies you've got that you could possibly make into really fun shaped shaker cards. Thank you for joining me for the latest three minute card making hack from Craft Stash. You'll find more on our playlist just here. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to the Craft Stash YouTube channel just up here. Take care, everybody. I'll see you soon.